In Elden Ring, the first and most basic stat that any character has to determine its essence is the rune level. The game defines your rune level as the cumulative figure that represents overall attribute strength. In order to level up, we need runes, the game's currency, which we can obtain from defeating enemies and bosses from certain consumable items and from selling equipment and other items to the different merchants in the lands between. The maximum level that we can achieve in the game is 713, and we can achieve this when we level up all of our main attributes to 99. In order to reach this final level, we require a total of 1,692,566,842 runes. To the right of your screen, I will be scrolling through an Excel sheet where I have compiled all of the information regarding how many runes you need for each level, what is the increase of rune needed per level, and the total amount of runes that you would need in order to reach this level. With this information, you can efficiently plan the exact amount of runes you will need in order to reach the rune level that you're interested in. Do not hesitate to stop the video when the level you need to consult appears on screen. That being said, while that is happening over to the side, let's go over the other effects of leveling up. Increasing our rune level means that we increase one of our main attributes by a single point. As a result, whenever we level up, we get two sets of effects the effects from the rune level increasing, and the effects of the main attribute that we are increasing. Each of the main attributes, vigor, mind, endurance, strength, dexterity, intelligence, faith, and arcane, have their own specific effects whenever we level them up. Each separate stat will be covered in its own video. For now, let's focus on the effects of increasing our rune level. Regardless of what attribute we increase, leveling up will always increase all of our defenses. Our physical, magic, fire, lightning, and holy defenses always get better whenever we level up. The rate of increase is as follows. We get an additional 0.4 points of each defense type per level from levels 1 to 150. We get an additional 1 point for each defense type per level from levels 151 to 170. We get an additional 0.21 points of each defense type per level from levels 171 to 240. And we get an additional 0.04 points of each defense type per level from levels 241 to maximum 713. In the same way, all of our resistances are increased when we level up. Immunity, robustness, focus, and vitality all receive small boosts when we increase our rune level. I will go over in detail what these resistances do when focusing on their own specific attributes. But for now, please understand that the rate of increase is as follows. We get an additional 0.2 points of each resistance per level from level 1 to 150. We get 1 point of each resistance per level from level 151 to level 190. We get an additional 0.3 points of each resistance per level from level 191 to level 240. And finally, we get an additional 0.04 points of each resistance per level from level 241 to maximum 713. As mentioned before, the maximum level that you can reach in Elden Ring is 713. Getting to this level will take a very long time, but it will give you a character that has every stat maxed out. You will be able to use every weapon and every spell in the game. You will be able to play whichever way you wanted by just switching equipment. There would be no need for builds because your character will be able to do anything at any time. In my honest opinion, you should not do this. Quite the opposite, actually. 
I always recommend that in order to keep the game challenging and the builds engaging, you always set yourself a limit. Personally, I feel very comfortable playing Elden Ring at room level 150. Playing solo, doing co-op, and competing in PvP duels feels very good at this level. For this reason, all of the builds that I make stop at this level. What are the benefits of giving yourself a level cap? Well, for starters, it keeps the game balanced. At room level 150, for example, bosses still feel engaging, but you have enough power in order to be rewarded for your knowledge and experience. If you continue leveling up your character, eventually you will become too powerful and the challenge will disappear. This can make the game boring. Also, at room level 150, I have an easy time finding other players, whether it is for co-op or PvP duels. There seems to be a consistent player base at this level. So, in order to keep the game balanced and to increase the success of matchmaking, I choose to remain at this level. That being said, my dear viewer, please understand that I am not saying that this is the best rune level to play at. It is just what works for me. Different rune levels can be used depending on what you're looking for. For example, level 125 is also very popular for PvP dueling because it forces players to make difficult decisions with their builds, and this increases variety. You could also make builds at rune level 30 or rune level 80. These are builds prepared to invade other players in certain sections of the game. No matter what you're looking for, setting a rune level limit is a good way to keep the game fresh and to add variety through different characters and different builds. One final note, and I will repeat myself. Setting a personal rune level cap is up to the player. If you are not interested in doing it and want to continue leveling your character up to the max, that is also good. There is absolutely no issue and everyone is allowed to play the game as they see fit. This is, once again, just my own personal opinion. Out of all of the different stats in Elden Ring, Rune Level is probably the most important one, but at the same time, the one we pay the least attention to. It makes sense, honestly. Understanding Rune Level is fundamentally easy. The higher it is, the stronger we are. That being said, it is still important to understand the few details that it brings to the table. Whether you want to level up all the way to the max level, or you want to stick to a personal cap, everyone has to deal with rune level at some point. Elden Ring is, after all, an RPG. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope I get to see you on the next one.